Hi there, welcome back to Stellaris Snail Wars. Oh, let's play on hard, where we are playing the little snails. Um, trying to make the galaxy safe again for the arrival of their god Nautilon. And uh, yeah, what we're doing is very carefully exploring the galaxy. And just now we're building a colony ship for a new colony in the lungs of Nautilon system. We have the Eye of Nautilon system, where a red star symbolizes the Eye of our God. And these are the lungs, because um, there is a certain breath in the air on that planet. You'll see with Hallucin again. So the snails feel very close to Nautilon, their God, there. But what have we found here? The Woolhop civilization. We have detected the presence of a primitive alien civilization on Spring Rain in the Tawagawa system. That's somewhere here. Here it is. They have entered the early Steam Age. Oh, that's nice. So they can actually play games now. No. And there is clear evidence that they are beginning to make use of both vehicles and early factories powered by steam engines. We should consider building an observation post above their world to study them more closely and we think that all aliens are dangerous so we'll have to study them closely, intensively, as soon as we can. Interesting. Now we're just here and trying to recover a sublight probe. We have sent out sublight probes because we were so foolish as to seek contact with other alien civilizations. These were of, were of course the, the early trials of, of space travel. And these were foolish efforts. We now know better. We shouldn't have sent them out at all. And as soon as the colony ship is finished, we'll build a force to also recover that drone here. There's a subspace anomaly close to our drone that must be destroyed so we can access our drone again. And in here we've met alien vessels. The Alpha Menace will soon uh, research what they are about. And actually, we can do that now, because it's very, very important. Let's see. We're also looking to recover the probe. And there's also the Kavzek system here, where also another probe is located. Let's see. And here we're waiting for enough minerals um, to build a, a mining station above that world. So there's a lot going on at the moment. And we have a lot of anomalies that we still need to research. But the, the snails are risk averse. They don't like risks. So 12% um, is too much. Like if we're leveling up to four or five stars. This will go down near near zero and then we'll be able to do it. Like to decrease the failure risk to, to zero is the goal. But if that wouldn't be possible, then we're just decreasing it as much as we can. So, um, by the way, we need a new leader and also... Um, when talking about leaders, there's Jesse Handler here. And uh, Jesse Handler was actually registered wrong. He's in reality called William Graham. William Graham the top snail. The S means Research like completed. a subscriber <laughs> actually wanted to to name Special project a snail like that. So you can claim in-game characters and I'll rename them after you or just as you like them. I think it's fun to to have some of you in there. Like I, 
and I'll also try to not kill you. But um, sometimes I'm, I'm a little forgetful, so I should warn you. It might happen, it might happen. In that case, the governor is usually safe from anything. But we have a probe, Ricard. We have recovered the sublight probe in the Srudma system. Since the telemetry it has collected over the years has provided us with a complete survey of all planetary bodies within the system. Excellent, but we cannot find any anomalies there anymore. No! Ah. So I'm not really sure if we should collect that all, but um, I believe... Yeah... Let's try the Ebenauer system now. Let's see what we'll find here. And we have new research, new technology to go for. We have the solar panel network researched, which will help us in our orbital spaceports. We can uh, start the solar panel network and it will bring us three energy credits per month, which is pre pretty good. Advances in solar panel technology could potentially reduce the operating costs of our spaceports. The panels would require an entire spaceport module to generate enough energy, however. And I think it's pretty helpful. So now, what are we going for now with the physics? We could go for assist research, which would be okay, but we still have something to do for our science ships, so I don't think that's very good. We have gravitic sensors, which increases our survey speed and which also adds safety, which is an important factor for our little snails. We can, we can see earlier, um, we can see earlier what, what's coming to us with the gravitic sensors. So, um, I think we should go for the gravitic sensors. Then we have, uh, Completed the research of powered exoskeletons, which means we have improved shells now. Now the snails have little um, improved mechanized shells, which help them with their tasks and add a lot of power to them. Wearing a powered exoskeleton suits, suit augments the user's strength and speed. The military applications are obvious, but it will also increase labor efficiency. Yes, they are stronger now. The improved shells, but what what should we go for now? Like what would make us safe again? A defense platform would be safe, and a robot would also be a pretty good idea. Why? Because <laughs> our snails are not really good at harvesting minerals, and robots would be just the thing to help us. On the other hand, they want to make the galaxy safe again, right? So we're up for a defense platform here, definitely. Like this is from role play. Like if I if I would go for total optimization, I would either go for yeah, I would usually go for the robot. But now uh, we're going for the defense platform because they want to feel safe. They will save all their planets with defense platforms because spaceports are pretty weak. And there we go. So we have enough minerals saved up for another station here. Let's build a mining station on Degantu. And yeah, that should be sufficient for now. And as soon as the colony ship is finished, we need to up our fleet to at least 70%. So to at least, I'd say, 11 or something. Because they need to feel safe. They need to feel safe, our little snails. And also, they want to catch that sublight probe here, beyond the subspace anomaly, to feel safe and to get that uh, quest done. Also, here is Kavzek. And as soon as we're finished with Tower Gava system, that is very big, by the way. Yeah, we have found spring rain, that civilization. Let's have a look. And then we'll see if we can find something here. Oh, look at these. They look pretty dangerous. They're also xenophobes. So we will probably miss them, like they, they'll flee from us, maybe. So we might not, we might not have to purge them if they flee from us. We'll see, we'll see. up the 
speed a bit, but only a bit. I mean, we want to System be survey in there. So, what have we found here? Hmm, that's not bad. Like, but now let's let's go to Kavzek and let's hope there's nothing dangerous in there. And of course, I wanted to recruit, or we wanted to recruit rather, an admiral for our coming fleet. Let's see what is good here. Gale speed is very very good. It adds evasion, which is defensive, which is which is good, and. The speed and combat speed is absolutely awesome, I think. Logistician, yeah, that's not... like Trickster is also good for emergency FTL, but I think the, the snails will go for evasion plus more speed, so they can flee quickly if they want. And... Yeah, these are both, I think, female. So Azazel, Aox, Aox, <laughs> you'll be female. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. They are all female, the admirals. <laughs> so we'll rename her. Maybe Azazela. Is that okay? And as soon as we can, we'll give you a very good fleet. Yeah, as soon as the colony ship is finished. Complete. <laughs> ah, a mining station has been constructed. Very nice. And we should fly over to the Nihal system. There are some mining stations that we can still build there. Uh, let's fly in. Iron Trail. The naughty protector has picked up a single signal from a discarded signal boy belonging to one of our missing supplied probes in the Kavzak system. There's an iron trail leading away from the boy on a trajectory towards another star, suggesting that someone has towed the probe there for unknown reasons. Let us see where this trail the situation leads. Log updated. Oh my god, we, we must find out. Where's the iron trail? Where is it? It's here in Tawagawa. Follow the trail. It was that civilization, so they are not that that backwards. They are pr probably dangerous. We need to follow them. Oh, I hope they are not dangerous. Ah. We have found our missing probe. Oh, thank God. A small fleet of jury-rigged ships has been detected in the Tawagawa system. What? And one of them has the probe blocked in a short-range tractor beam. They are hailing us. Uh, hail on screen. Who are you? Unscrupulous salvages. What you want, alien? This probe ours. Salvage. We find first. You leave now. Yes, interrupting delicate operation. Your ships are. Must concentrate. Who are these guys? Oh god, they seem dangerous. Or if you want probe, we can sell. 100 credits and probe yours. Good deal, very good. You get probe, let's work for us. Everybody wins, especially us. Ah, uh, I think we cannot... We don't have a force at the moment, so... We drive a hard bargain, but very well. Very good, very good. We release probe into your care. Maybe a bit banged up. There was accidental collision during salvage operation. Migwai fell on controls. Clumsy oaf. But probe still in good condition. No refunds. We depart now. Oh man, the salvagers. Salvagers kept their word and transferred the probe over to our control. As soon as the transfer was complete, their fleet departed the system on an unknown heading. Although the probe is in rough condition, we managed to download detailed sensor readings on the entire Tawagala system from its memory banks. Well, excellent. Um, well, yes, we got nothing for 100 credits, but we, n we needed to do it. I mean, we need to destroy those probes to be safe again. They cannot get the data from it. It would be suicide, probably. Ah. Oh. 
Also, let's design. Let's design a new fleet. A new... A new ship. Let's see what we can do here. What do we have here in the ship designer? Let's uh, actually... Scrap the shell. Let's try to make it a new shell. What shall we do? I only have the interceptor section. Put in red lasers. And... Uh, let's test the autocomplete ship. Two small fission reactors are enough. Alright, that's, that's okay. That's okay. So, the shell class. There it is. It has 60% evasion, which is very good. Has some damage. Yeah, it's very basic. It'll, it will have to suffice. As soon as this gets done, we need to start our corvette. Shell class. Ah, what about this nautiloid? Uh, I think it's okay. I mean, we're getting two. A bit, a little bit food, a little bit minerals. I think it's okay. Mm, William Graham may change, though. Let's see. The hull system. Yes. Let's fly in here. So we can build quickly. Hmm. We're losing energy credits. Oh, yes, now. Our colony ship, the Nauti Onward. Let's see, they have the right... The right ethics. Let's fly over to Nautilon's breath. There's an atmospheric hallucinogen in the atmosphere. Which makes them happy. Oh, and gives society output. Should make this a research planet, but we cannot afford it at the moment. <laughs> It decreases the oh it increases the ethics divergence. Ah oh, come on, that, that won't hurt. Let's test the expansion planner while we're at it. Here. Very nice. And now colonize. Yeah, what what surface tile do we want? Let's see. What's what's a good one? We want to have the basic resources all around us. So we'll profit most. So what would be good? This wouldn't be bad. This would be a good place. <laughs> this would be okay. This would be really good. Mm, this maybe. Uh, it has two things where we could profit. This has also two. This has one, two. Ah, come on. <laughs> This has to... <laughs> uh, this will get lost. I mean, we should really land here. That's, that's the best choice we have. Yeah, we need, to, we need to land here. The lungs of Nautilon. Um, no, we'll we'll name the colony Nautilon's Breath, of course. And let's fly over there. It's pretty cool. Tawagawa system has been fully surveyed too. Yes. Our science ships are very busy. And what's going on this in the situation log? Oh, we're investigating the Alpha Menace. Soon we'll know. What is it? What is the Alpha? Oh, look Special at that! Project complete. Oh man, there's something big flying around here. Space amoebas we've found. The entities encountered by our fleet some time ago are new horrifying life forms. Quickly nicknamed Space Amoeba, following an analyst's gross misreading of in initial sensor output, the creature is in fact larger than the average Nautiloid Corvette. There would be little harm in putting one of the monstrosities out of its misery, for science. Yes, but we don't have the fleets right now. We must study them. 
We must study them first. They are too dangerous. We must study them. I mean, we are hunters, but we have nothing to hunt at the moment. We need at least like 300, 400 force. And we need to make use of the time. So let's let's go for the remote space amoeba study Situation first. log updated. We cannot go for something else at the moment. Let's do it at once. It cannot be cannot be waited for. Oh god. There's this, there's an alien that is in the lungs of Nautilon system. Have you seen it? It has 880 Probably very dangerous. What will our colony ship do? Construction complete. Hmm. What have we done here? Spaceport has finished the construction. Very good. Uh, we need more corvettes. But we also need more money. What can we do? We need to remove these slums. So we need to change William Graham for Felix Feldman for now. Let's look at the surface. Let's remove the sprawling slums. We have paid and now we can switch Felix Feldman back. Let's see. So there we go. They are removed now. He just made Felix Feldman is the one for the planning. Like he is, he made the planning, and William Graham oversees the whole thing. He's an intellectual; he should be able to do it. Oh man! But we can build a corvette right now, so we should. We need more force. Where's our sh Where's our colony ship? Oh. Surveying Kavzek. Oh, and there's an anomaly, but not on Nautilon's breath, thankfully. Let's look at the surface. There's dangerous wildlife. Ah, if we can research to remove that, that will be ah, top of priority. I mean, poor snails. They're afraid of the wildlife. Anomaly found. What have we found here? Another anomaly on Kavzek 1. By chance we stumbled upon a faint alien signal during the survey of this planet. The source appears to be a small object in orbit. The signal contains no message. Could it be a distress transponder? Ah, now we're Construction waiting. Construction complete. I'll leave be for now. And we have... Yeah, we have fin finished the concert. We have founded our first colony. Let's celebrate the first nautiloid colony. Our colony ship has gently touched down at the mouth of a large river delta on one of the several continents that can be found on Nautilus' breath. This temperate, forested region will serve as an ideal first landing site. The ship has been permanently converted into the administrative headquarters of the new settlement and its reactor core in the process of being removed so that it might serve as the colony's temporary power source. Hundreds of small tents and prefab shelters and shells have sprung up around the former starship's massive hull as colonists begin to disembark in large numbers. First Nautiloid city on an alien world. A great day for the empire of Nautilon's arrival. So, they're celebrating now. Let's, let's look at our colony here. Let's look at the surface. Neptulus. Ah, uh, no. Nautilon's breath here. Very nice. And there it is. Reassembled ship shelter. Very good. So, um, let's celebrate and we'll start the next episode soon. So thank you for watching. Happy gaming to you. And uh, see you in the next episode when we may muster a force that will uh, maybe stop one of these strange space monsters out there. You cannot be too careful, even if Nautilon will help us. Happy gaming to you, and see you in the next episode of Snail Wars.